That's Miranda. This is called Adventures with Anxiety. Just found it just now. No idea. It's called Visual Novel where you play as the anxiety. Let's see what happens. Okay. Content notes. It's about well anxiety, but I've made this for folks with anxiety disorder, like myself. I hope it can help you see anxiety with what? Adventures with anxiety, humor what? To maybe reduce the fear of fear itself. There's also badly drawn stick figures and a hyperactive wolf. Enjoy. Other notes, alcohol abuse, sexuality, um, but a load of swearing. Mental health tips and resources, okay. Am I missing this? Oh, is this help you see with humor how anxiety works? I like quotes. Got it. Okay. Is there anything to click on here? Okay. Click anywhere to keep freaking out. So this is like a flash game. Okay. Welcome. This is less of a game, more of an interactive story. Hope you like reading, sucka. Fine by me. So before we start, how would you like to read? Ooh. Speak this fast. What? Speak this fast. I don't, I, it doesn't, I have no idea. Advance on click. Automatically on click, please. Great, now you can always shoot options. Now let's begin our story. This is a human. And this is the human's anxiety. You are the anxiety. Oh good, my wolf's back, fantastic. Your job is to protect your human from danger. In fact, that sandwich is putting them in danger right now. Quick, warn them. Human, listen, we're in danger. The danger is... Let your anxiety come out to play. Pick what's most similar to what your fear tells you. We're eating alone for lunch again. We're not productive while eating. That white bread's bad for us. We're not productive while eating. Whip out your laptop and do some work right now. Um, I'd rather not get crumbs in my keyboard. If we're not contributing to the body of society, then we're a society parasite. The society body will go to the society doctor for medication to kill their society of parasites, then we'll die. Bad. You used fear of being a bad person. It's super effective. See, human, I am your loyal guard wolf. Changing the voice. Trust your oh, trust your gut. Your feelings are always valid. Get your human's energy bar to zero. To protect their physical, social, moral needs, you can use fear of being harmed, fear of being unloved, and fear of being a bad person. Too real, too real, too real. Pro tip, play the choices that personally hit your deepest, darkest fears. Cool. Da, da, da. You know what? Maybe it's time to check my phone. Protect your human. From the world. From other people. From themselves. Good luck. Round one. Fight. 
Huh, Facebook feed says there's a party happening this weekend. Doesn't that weirdo throw a party every weekend? What in the void are they trying to fill? They must be deeply messed up inside. Also, I got an invite. Well then... Say so will die from loneliness, say no it's full of poisonous drugs, ignore it will just make parties sad. Ignore it will just make parties sad. Oh, all we ever do with parties worry about how we should be productive instead. Well, gee, I wonder why. So if we'll go, we'll make them feel bad, but we'll reject their invite, we'll also make them feel bad. That's not true. All we do is make people feel bad, so we should feel bad. Bad. Uh, if it'll make you shut up, fine. I'll ignore the invite. Anyway, Facebook's too much. I need something calmer, less anxiety producing. I deleted my Facebook. What's new on- I deleted my- I deactivated my Twitter very recently. What's new on Twitter? Oh, no, no. It's like really about us. Oh no, look at that horrible news story. God, it feels like the world's burning, isn't it? Feels like that. It feels like that. It feels like really terrible things sometimes. No, I, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'll retweet it. Just please be quiet. Screw it. Let's look at Snapchat. I have not been on Snapchat. Uh, photos from yesterday night. So that's what those weekly parties are like. Hmm. That looks really fun. Maybe I shouldn't have ignored the invite. No. Shouldn't have ignored it, no. Keep ignoring most of the party performers? Sure, why not? I'm, I'm a little unsure about the yes and no for some reason. The, the syntax. Keep ignoring most of the worst of party poopers. It's kind of rude to keep ignoring them though, no? Well, those are people that always ignore us, so. It's not my intention. It's a little off. But so let's just call it even to to my personal experience. Obviously, it's a game. It's not gonna get everyone's personal experience right. Whatever. New Tinder notification. I'm not even close. What? That hookup app? It's not a hookup app. It's just a way to meet new people. It's a hookup app. Oh, I got a match. They look cute. Please don't ruin this for me. It's it's this and this. It's the first one and the last one. I'm not on this. But that's probably how I would feel. Useful. Destroy other people! Random hookups may be able to fill the hole down there. But they can never fill the hole in here. The point is we're going to do it alone! I'm so sick of this game. We're a society parasite, the world is burning, we'll die alone? I just want to live my life. I just want to be free from all this... pain. Hey, human. I'll be okay. It'll be okay. You're a loyal guard wolf. I'll always keep an eye out for danger and do my best to keep you safe. I promise. Last app, Instagram. What you got? I'm not on there that much. It's more party pictures. Everyone looks so happy. Free from worry, free from anxiety. Edits. God, why can't I be like them? Why can't I just be normal? 
Speaking of parties, about this workers invite here at my final decision. That's me. We sh Fuck you. What? I'm going to say yes to that party. Precisely because you don't want me to. You're not in control of me. Now excuse me while I eat this delicious sandwich in goddamn peace. <laughs> Oh god, I have to press. I did it. Congratulations, you've successfully protected your human's physical and social and moral needs. Why, look how grateful they are. Now that their energy is zero, you can directly control their actions. Pick your ending move. Finish them. The world is full of danger. Do you like the armadillo? Curl up into a ball for self-defense. Curl up and cry, curl up and cry, curl up and cry, curl up. But did you see that news story about the horrible thing happening somewhere? Uh, hi. Got it, the news is all sensationalism and clickbait. N nice party. True, but maybe they're just following incentives. The real problem is people who click the clickbait. Who would retweet a terrible news story and make all their friends feel bad? Uh, I know, right? Round two, fight. We, I know they all hate us, huh? Hey, let's talk about the meaning of life. At the end of it all, what can we possibly do that really matters? Contribute to humanity. All great works decay the way of Ozymandias. What did I say? Love, love will always do its part. And how much death there is, we will die, our loved ones will die. Heck, the second law of thermodynamics means even our universe will die. Oh, death makes us appreciate life. That's like saying slavery is good because it makes us appreciate freedom. I hope you're appreciating this, this voice. Oh, you need to make your own meaning. That's what occultists and conspiracy theories do. Life has no meaning. Yeah, that's no meaning. Meaning. Meaning has no meaning. What is a mortal soul supposed to do? Um, can you hear me, human? <gasps> I must warn you about... You're a darn danger. That's dangerous. You think you're safe just because you took the batteries out of the carbon monoxide detector? You won't even smell the poison. You'll just get sleepy and then you'll... Die. Oh, thank goodness, human. I think you can hear me a car. Mm -hmm. I shall warn you about... Moral danger. What 
if we're just fundamentally wrong? Others have an inner drive to do goodness, but we only do good out of guilt or shame, if at all. What if it's in our nature to hurt others? What if we can't be anything other than a burden to those close to us? <gasps> broken, so broken, so broken, so broken! Fuck! Fucking fuck, fucky fuck! Yeah, you human, I'm so happy you can hear me again. Oh, that was her. Why are you ignoring me? Holy hell, you absolute moron. You know that Native American story? There are two wolves inside you. One is hope, one is despair. Which wolf wins? The one you feed. I was trying to starve you, you sadistic asshole. Screw it. I'll do positive affirmations instead. I am loved. I am good. I am smart. I am beautiful. I am special. A little bit. Golly, that's so narcissistic. You need to humbly see your own flaws in order to grow as a person. You can't speak your prisoner over a moldy room. Covering up your flaws makes you worse in the long run. Thankfully, I, as your local guard wolf, loyal guard wolf, can alert you to your flaws. And right now, it's... By it. Yes, damn it. You know what? You're irrational. Everyone knows emotions are irrational, especially fear. You're a useless of evolutionary leftover, like my appendix or wisdom teeth. Hell, this whole wolf metaphor is stupid. You're just a bunch of neurochemicals in my head. So why should I listen to a worthless, irrational, non-existent piece of shit like you? I'm a feeling. Feelings are valid. Hang on. They say that feelings are valid, that you should always accept your emotions. But they also say emotions are irrational, that emotions are not to be trusted. Oh my gosh! They've been lying to us this whole time! They feed us contradictions to make us dependent on the self-help and judgmental complex. I hate this. God, it hurts so much. I hate this. I can't appease you. I can't ignore you. I can't fight you. No matter what I do, I can't seem to get rid of- Well, maybe you're not supposed to get rid of me. How do you think I feel, human? I'm trying my best to be your guard dog. But you keep seeing me as a big bad wolf. That's strangely appropriate. So I try even harder to alert you to danger. More danger, different danger. But no matter how hard I try to protect you, you still think I'm your enemy. What am I doing wrong? I know I suck at my job, but I'm trying, human. I'm trying. You don't have to heed my warnings or agree with me or even like me. I just, all I want is for you to be patient with me. I just want you to, for you to sit with me for a while instead of turning away and... Hey. Looks like you're caught in a fight with yourself, kid. Was it that obvious? You were all uh, mumbling at your hoodie about carbon monoxide or something? Oh god, I'm such a mess. Hey. You're not alone, friend. Anxiety is super common. Heck, just yesterday I heard someone curled up into an armadillo ball and cried in public. Listen, I know what it's like to have that animal in your head. We all do. That's why I throw these parties every weekend. To forget our worries, forget that animal. But my anxiety, don't worry, kid. I used to be like you, but then I found a little trick to get that negative voice to shut up forever. No. 
my own specialty blend. It's a bit stronger than, well, anything legal, really. Bottoms up, biatch. Mm -hmm. What an exquisite palette. I don't agree with this. I don't drink. A full body flavor of shut your mind up with subtle aftertaste of never feeling anyth anything ever again. This is bad human. This is really, really bad. This is... Delicious and cheaper than therapy. Human, please stop. <laughs> and what are you gonna do about it, asshole? I'm so sorry, human. I'm going to have to use my special attack. Danger. What's this crap? You're gonna get more more stupid words at me to Almost. What the hell was that? I'm sorry. I needed to show you the consequences. I could see everyone's look of disgust. I could hear all the things they said. I'm sorry, human. Finish them. I know all these party goers were deeply messed up. They all dull their pain with horrible things. And they're tricking you into doing the same thing. They're corrupting you. We need to grow out. You all right, kid? Okay, sorry. I have to run. Damn it, the animal won today, huh? No, no. Just uh, gotta run a marathon. Gotta go fast. Come to my party next weekend, cutie. I'll make something even stronger for you. Okay, thanks. Gonna run, 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 run. You and me, kid. We'll show that beast who's boss. Human, are you okay? God, if that was close, we really could have. I'm coming back to the party next weekend. The next time we fight, I'm not just going to defeat you. I'm going to fucking kill you. Is there another round? I don't know if I could do this more. Cheers. I don't even remember what the voice was for this person. Cheers. Gulp. Ah, uh, that hits the spot. You know, good. Specifically, the spot hits are my left and right amygdala. Spots hit. You remind me of myself when I was younger, back when I was tormented by the animal in my head. I am so grateful I can pay it forward and help you kill the beast the way I killed mine. Hey, great question. Truth or death? Dare! Haha, uh -huh. good. Okay, is that baby with swimming pool down there? <gasps> no. Yeah, six squares down? Jump in. Um, wait, what? The animals started whining, hasn't it? 
news, dangerous, don't do it. That's exactly why we need death defying thrills. Party hard, carpe diem, snort coke off of a hooker's ass. <laughs> Hashtag YOLO, I hate that I said any of that. Show that animal we don't give two decks about his bitching. Jump in. Um, but sometimes, um, fear has a point. I'm sorry, did you fall for that McMindfulness propaganda that claims feeling about is good? The assholes who run this world give the rest of us anxiety and depression. Then make TED Talks to tell us to accept being fucked over and embrace that sadistic demon in our heads. Okay. I know that you know that animal hurts people like us. It tortures people like us. It's not our friend. It's a rabid beast, which either needs to be tranquilized or have a bullet put in his skull. Otherwise, you're going to let it win. No, you're wrong. I'm not gonna let it win. But yeah, I believe in you, babe. Kill it. Hurt. No, 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 no. This chapter has two possible endings. One is very, very bad. No, 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 no. Oh, goody. Choose wisely. Protect your human. Good luck. Uh, oh, oh. You know, I might have believed you if you hadn't tried a zillion times before. You hadn't tried that a zillion times before. You're the wolf who cried wolf. You tried that too. Oh. Human, please. Oh, I'm sorry, Big Firm. I doesn't approve of my self-medication. Look, asshole. We all have a way of shutting you the fuck up. Some people throw themselves into work. Some people throw themselves into sex, drugs, and refreshing their Facebook feed. Some people throw themselves into other people. I'm gonna throw myself into that stunning pool. You dropped it at six floors down. Even if you land in the water, the surface tension will crack your ribs and give you a concussion at the least. Eh. No, see. No. I saw a Russian guy do this on YouTube once. bar is looking awfully low there, Wolf. If I were you, I'd choose your next words very carefully. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Don't worry, be happy. All the wise folk of our time agree, negative emotions are bad. Duh, that's why they're called negative. Human, please. A while back I said, I just want to be free from all this pain. It got my wish. I no longer feel pain or fear or anxiety. I don't feel anything at all. No. No, no, no. No. Jeez.
what the hell was the moral of this story? What did we even learn? I was being stupid. My friends were using me. And we almost freaking died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mention the hospital bill. Right. I don't think my insurance plan covers being a dumbass. And yet, we survived. Despite everything, we are still here. You seem pretty calm considering we just had a near death experience. Well, it makes everything else less scary in comparison. It's all got me thinking. If me fighting you sucks because it doesn't protect you. But me fighting you also sucks because it just makes you yell louder. Then maybe... Maybe we don't have to fight. I'm not a big bad wolf, but I'm not a card wolf either. I'm a battered shelter dog. We've been through rough stuff, maybe trauma or neglect. That's why I sometimes overreact and go. <laughs> but I don't want to be a cowardly dog. I want to protect you. I want to be a good dog. Human, will you help me tame this wolf? I... I'll try. Okay. Healthy relationship with emotions. Relationships need communication, so let's communicate. The next five minutes are going to sound super cheesy, but let's fake it till we make it. Dear Inner Wolf, how are you feeling? So we're broken. Let's accept it. I mean, that's what therapists say, right? Accept all your emotions, even the negative ones. Wait. No. Accept is not give up. Do you think Martin Luther King would have said, Chuck, get shot in the front of the bus? Why does the self-help industrial complex think that waving the white flag is some profound wisdom? I think therapists mean accept bad things as in acknowledging they exist and are hard to change, but not necessarily giving up a commitment to change. The therapist should say acknowledge, not accept. Yeah, come to think of it, accept is kind of confusing. Well, I acknowledge that. Anyway, anything else you want to chat about? Yeah, I'm good for now. Good chat, team. Mind if I sat with you for lunch? Is it a crush? You need to the reason quiet. You're such a burden. 
I mean, it's it's okay if not. I, I just. Yeah, of course. Come here. Hey, on, Newman. They seem uncomfortable. Ah, uh, no pressure, of course. Just saying, you can still sit here. You can sit here if you want to. Staying upon the earth. <laughs> huh, that was weird. I wonder what was going on in their head. Anyway, you were saying. <gasps> I forget. Something about teams and work. <laughs> they say you should drink peace with your emotions as if your emotions are. Are war criminals, but I want us to make war than your peace. I want us to be allies. I want to be a good guard dog, just like our hunger and thirst are our lives for your physical needs. <laughs> this is rough. I want to be the alarm for your psychological needs, your needs for safety, belonging, goodness. But I still get my job. So I need you to drain me. I'm not always valid, nor always irrational. I'm just trying my best. So please, help me help you. Though teaching an old dog no drinks will take a while. Maybe years. And sometimes I'll relapse. I'll slip into my old habits. I'll burn your shadows. I'll scare you with words. I might even show you some intrusive images of... I'm sorry. No, a better child or dog. Better dogs poop on your bed sometimes. What if you're patient with me? And just stay and sit with me? Maybe you can tame this wolf. Good human. I don't know why I felt like doing that one instead. <laughs> you're, you're still not productive while eating more society bars. <laughs> Super cute. In a messed up a little too real way. <laughs> everybody's everybody's wolf. This is kind of a coincidence that I picked that. I didn't mean to. Have to just playing the path. Okay. Um, <laughs> Adventures with Anxiety. I hope you enjoyed that. I just jumped on Itch.io and just tried playing it. I did not know what to expect. That was fun. It was, it was 40 minutes. It said it was about 30 minutes. It took me 40 minutes. 